Hi, I'm Christine Cushing, and thank you for joining me on another helping of my favorite foods. I think the apple deserves its own category. It can be sweet, it can be tart. You can use it in savory applications. You can, of course, bake with it, and that's what we're gonna do today. I think everybody needs an easy apple tart that they can add to their repertoire, and this one comes together like this. You're gonna love it. Step one, the pastry, of course. All-purpose flour, pinch of salt, and just a pinch of sugar. The enemy of a great pastry is heat. So heat comes from your hands. Don't touch the pastry. And sometimes when it ain't broke, don't fix it. The pastry cutter, super easy. This is probably the simplest way you can make a quick pastry. So the key here is just to work that butter in until it's just a little bit bigger than coarse meal. You hear that terminology a lot. And I like to do this at the end with my hands just to make sure it's okay. Remember, freezing that butter gives me a head start. Now I'm adding my ice water to it. And you notice that I haven't touched the dough at all. I'm still using a spatula. I'm pressing down a bit here so it absorbs some of that flour. And I can see, based on my recipe, it is a little dry. So you wanna make that adjustment at the end. This is about a third of a cup. Again, I'm avoiding touching it too much. Now, we touch. So you can see my stroke here is firm, but it's quick. So I wanna gather that flour in and the butter together, but not hold it too much to soften that dough. Oh, it's looking really good. And you can see here, there's little streaks of butter, but they're not too big. Now I want to wrap it. This needs to chill for about 30 to 30 minutes to an hour, let's say. You see how I'm patting it here? I always pat it into a disc, not a ball. That way it cracks less when you roll it out. Now when it comes to the apples, depending on where you are in the world, your apples are going to vary. I'm using a Northern Spy. That's a Canadian firm baking pie apple. But how do you know? There's so many different varieties now. A good way to tell if an apple is gonna be good for this kind of use or, or an apple pie, you just press on it and it needs to be firm. Not, you don't wanna go around squashing all the apples in the grocery store or at your farm, but you just want a firm apple. If it gives right away, that means it's gonna be soft. So nothing like a Macintosh or a Delicious, they're gonna just turn into soup, just saying. So I'm peeling them here, two large, Apples are going to do the trick for this open-faced tart, galette. Already getting excited. Do you have a favorite in the pie category? I don't know. It's tough to beat an apple pie, right? Let me know in the comments down below. What's your favorite pie? I'm not going to worry too much about the browning of the apple here. I could just put some lemon juice on it. Ooh, lemons but I'm not going to, because really it's all gonna get brown and caramelized and you're not gonna see it. So don't sweat that at all. They need to be super thin to get the right texture. That's what I'm looking for. Of course, you can use a mandolin if you can't do this with your knife. And truth be told, I use two and a half apples here, not two as per recipe. Once I get it into a manageable size disc, you see I'm always flouring my board and the pin, and I always keep the dough moving. That is the best technique. Never sticks to the bottom. And you can see that I just roll one side and turn it. That's a great technique. And then now at the end, I just make the outer edges a little bit thinner because that's gonna be folded in. Yeah, that looks about right. That's a good size, good thickness, and it's not sticking. And then to make it a little more fancy, I'm just trimming the edges to make it look perfect. Now I'm going to actually pop this right back into the freezer on a sheet of parchment. And this is going to be about 15 or so minutes. The 
The magic of a galette, why make a galette? It's because you don't have to worry about a second crust. You don't have to worry about your apples getting soggy. The steam is going to escape and it's super easy. You use less apples. You have a kind of a thinner, crispier pastry and it makes it feel like you're a French pastry chef. What's not to love about that? Just brushing with a little egg wash again is a bit more insurance so nothing falls through. It's going to seal it. Okay, apple butter, if you've never tried it, is amazing. And what I'm going to use it for here is like a simple layer on the bottom of my galette to kind of absorb some of that moisture and give me that double apple flavor. So apple butter is just reduced, super reduced apples with spices. So it is going to add a little mm, something, something. Did you get excited for a second thinking we were making pizza? I'm actually using my pizza steel to transfer right onto my stone in the oven. You could just use a baking sheet if you don't have this, but you get that extra crispy bottom. Oh my goodness. 25 minutes later, I'm going to brush with a little glaze just to give it a little sheen for about five minutes just to finish that off. Look at the bubbles. Look at the color. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> about do you see what I'm talking about so if you happen to put this on a buffet this beautiful apple galette you might want to keep your rolling pin handy because there are those people who will eat a half a pie and you know who you are with no regard for anybody else at the party so I'm just saying have your rolling pin on standby because this is that good speaking of good let me have a taste Seriously, the simplicity of this galette is amazing. That pastry is so crisp and you get a little thin bit of it. The apples, fresh, have a little texture, but soft, not too sweet, just a little tart. So phenomenal. You can make some creme anglaise, you can serve it with ice cream, you can serve it just like this. You can eat it with both your hands, whatever you like. You are going to fall in love with this fall apple galette. Thank you so much for joining me on another Helping of My Favorite Foods. Share, like, subscribe. Let me know how your pastry is working in your kitchen. Let me know what your favorite pie is. See you soon. Mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow.